so the internet's completely and totally blown up if you're into food at all with birria tacos birria tacos the trend the whole world is blown up with this thing and mostly made with beef so that's what we do we make it beef short rib birria tacos and i cannot wait um, i've been wanting to make this such a long time take the taco it's fried it's got uh, on on the plancha with uh, some of the consomme and some of the fat gives it that red color and cheese inside and then you dip it in the in the broth that in the stock that has been cooking in this flavor of those fantastic mexican chilies whoo man as you can see i've got the operia grill going in the background there we're gonna do it on that because uh because you can and uh i cannot wait it's a great prepare ahead of time dish that's what i did actually i did most of the work yesterday and we did um the, the, the cooking, the most of the cooking we did in the uh, wood oven, in Steeler's wood oven. So, because it's got to cook for a long time. Three, four hours until it's so jiggly and soft, you know. That lovely beef short rib uh, texture we all love. And so that was all made yesterday. Did that, made the sauces. And, uh, and today, we're going to just make the tacos and eat them. So it's a great thing to do, prepare ahead of time. And like all spicy dishes, it's better the next day. So I trolled the internet everywhere. Google Foods, Munchies, Pitmaster X, everybody. And uh, this is my version. I hope you enjoy. If you like, please subscribe. Help us out. It's free. Just subscribe. If you like the stuff we do, you know, then you can see more of it. And, um, and it helps us. Helps the old algorithms and things so the more people can see what we're doing on uh, here in South Africa on our bras. We don't just bra vos and chakalaka. Not just that. We do a lot more other things. So uh, let me know what you think. It's known as a queso birria. A cheese, cheese birria taco. Okay, so the chili that gives this its characteristic flavor is the wahio chili make sure that they're good nice leathery and delicious looking then we've got ancho chilies i'm putting into ancho chilies and a couple of moritos chilies moritos or chipotles and some pasilla chilies all these mexican chilies are easy to get a hold of just hit up azteca mexican food online i'll put the link in the description and they'll ship this to you wherever you are. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta clean them. Some people remove the seeds, some people don't. I just take the stalks off. Different theories around the seeds. Some people say they're leathery and you don't want them in sauces. But I found this kind of thing. We're making a, an adobo, which is what they call it, to marinate the meat in. And I like the heat of chilies. So I'm leaving them in, but you can take them out if you want to. So that's all we do to clean them. Like that. Take out the woody bits. And then we're going to take them, pop them in some boiling water and uh, soften them. That's uh, essential. Chili. So once your chilies are nice and softened, into a blender we go with the water and worry about the water because there's a lot of flavor in there and also don't worry about messing on your stuff don't do it in it goes the chilies along with the water that it's stewed in then we're going to go in with that blend of spices garlic and ginger yeah one is so good and then a can of whole peeled Italian tomatoes there are different ways of doing this but that's what I'm doing and you will understand it a little later on blend okay forgot a couple of things 
It happens, don't worry. In we go with a little bit of red wine vinegar. You can use normal vinegar, you can use apple vinegar, apple cider vinegar. A couple of sprigs of thyme, not too many. And of course, we're gonna make sure this is seasoned properly. A couple of pinches of salt. Here we go. A little bit of black pepper. In it all goes. And now we give it a vigorous blend. And that is done. Then we have our adobo, and this is gonna be the marinade for our beef. Yummy, it smells unbelievable. If you guys haven't tried this before, you have gotta try it. Now for the star of our show, the beef short rib. This is some fantastic stuff. It's got great sort of intermuscular fat and collagen and all this stuff in here. And it's a fantastic cut for slow braising. So I've got a five bone section here that I got from my butcher and it's sort of a half a one. It's kind of, kind of double the size. Um, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the sections. That way it's gonna braise lacquer. All that fat will render and we'll have some unbelievably delicious meat to fill a taco. Yeah, I cannot wait. So a little technical malfunction here. All we did is we put the short rib in the pot and we poured the adobo on top of it. And if it doesn't cover your meat, just add some hot water Fortunately mine does, that's why I didn't mind putting quite a bit of water in the pot when I, when I was cooking the chilies. There we have it. Now she goes in the wood burning oven by Stila. Because that's what they did, is they um, traditionally cooked these things in a big brick oven. And we don't have that, but we do have a wood burning oven and don't worry if you don't have one. It's not difficult. I'll put the link in the description. You go to the website. If COVID has taught us one thing, it's how to shop online. Click on stealerautor.com, click on your oven, tell them to send it to you and they ship nationwide. It's easy as that. Soft and tender, juicy. Now you're gonna chop all that beef up like a real taquera. Strain your broth so that it's nice and smooth. And then refrigerate it. Keep it over till tomorrow. Put all your meat in a pot. Ooh, a hold of some sort, a bowl. And uh, keep it overnight. And it's prepared ready to rock and roll. So there we have our wonderful broth or consomme that's been in the fridge overnight. And uh, this magical stuff on top here is the fat that's so key in giving birria tacos their color. So we'll scoop them off. This is what makes it 
a great dish for, for next day. If you're going to make it same day, then you just have to skim this with a ladle. But there we have it. We're going to take all this fat off and we're going to reserve it because it's gold. And that's what we're going to fry our tortillas in. Super excited! Here's our Birria cheesy taco. It's crispy on the outside, but the lovely red color. It's crispy on the outside, got that lovely red color from the fat. And I've got the consomme here, or the broth. And let's go, let's dip it. Goodness, that looks amazing. Mm. Mm. Wow, the outside taco is nice and crispy, the inside one is soft. There's corn tortillas, talking about the tortillas, not the tacos. Then you got the the warmth from those Mexican chilies, the earthiness, the rich flavors, and that beef, so soft, so delicious. And of course, that salsa that really just wakes everything up. The squeeze of lime juice. My face is going to be full of this. Delicious. Great to prepare ahead of time. And amazing to eat. Celebratory showstopper. Mm. Wow. People are driving past and looking at what I'm doing. I think they want some. Mm.